Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. We are continuing our adventure in Lena's Inception, another fun uh, Metroidvania, not Metroidvania, that is totally not the right word, <laughs> Zelda-like uh, RP adventure RPG top down, all that cool stuff we need to get over to that little dot that's kind of dancing in the square in that in those purple squares so we are definitely in the wrong area to do that so let's see if we can figure out that i didn't even see that snail um something i did notice in the last episode we switched out at the end of the last episode we switched out our um uh pet pal i guess we ha we have a a uh, few uh, pets that we can choose from through this adventure. I have only found two. We started off with the uh, What did we start off with? We started off with a chicken and now we have a, a bat and They help you all the animals help you in different ways So we kind of have to figure out which way we want and that sort of thing and the one that i like right now is the bat because he actually uh does damage to enemies as we are going about so as we pop around a corner or something we will uh he'll jump out and do uh, damage but he might need a little help from us every once in a while he seems to not be attacking right now, and I wonder if there's a reasoning for it. If he has to, uh, he can only attack so many times, or if he, uh, because he was attacking just a little bit ago, uh, or, you know, he needs to, uh, when I when I chose him, he, he ate some of my blood, so I don't know if he needs to uh, do that again. He, he keeps on saying he licks his lips, uh, there he goes. Look at that. So he'll kill that guy for me and I don't have to fight which which is very uh, helpful <laughs> When there's a lot of enemies on the board Let's see if we can I think we are heading the right directions the right direction But uh, I think we kind of wandered back around at the end of the last episode because we were uh, looking for the, you know some uh, ways to uh, you know, just explore a little bit and see what's out there. there. Um, I want out. I want that snail. I need. I got three. Oh, I wonder if that's how many times I could call him out. Is what that little, gr those little green hearts mean. Um, I bet you anything. That's what that means. And now I'm down to uh, one. So you need to either heal or find something that will refill that. So he will attack for so long and then kind of go into a, a passive mode, uh, which is not really what I want to happen. But right, you go, oh, I can't even go that way. Where do I want to go? I want to go down now. I think that's the way I want to go. Let me see. Yeah, I think I can go down. So. As you can see, if you've noticed from the mini map, it does uh, matter. Um, uh, the mini map does show things that are important, uh, such as, oh, he landed right next to him, um, such as like the, I think the um, style of the environment. So as you can see, uh, we are in a green foresty kind of area and if I come down, you know, then in the, these tiles are green So down here it changes to purple. So that's going to be something else and I'm curious as to what that is going to be um, We will I can't go down though from here Can I go down. No, I cannot go down from here either um, Interesting uh, we're just gonna have to keep on going around and see if we can find What we need definitely now in an area. I don't think I've been in We'll keep a such in that's part of the game Keep looking around and see if we can 
Oh, he's filled up some of his hearts too. Maybe he has a health bar and he can get hit. That probably is part of it. So he attacks when he, oh, look at that. I got a book. Um, What else found you? Some, so I, there are some stones there. So we are actually gonna go back up because I want those stones. It looks like he has a health now that I, that, that the, the red hearts are, are my health and the green hearts seem to be his health. So he'll come and attack when he is healed back up. But then when he's low on health, he will not pretty much. At least we picked up that one. I will not be able to get to that one until I get either I could cut the trees down or pick up rocks. It looks like there is something else back there. Ooh, I don't like this. I could, I think I can call him out with a whistle, but I really don't want to. I don't know if I could like kill him or knock him out. Can I do anything to these stones? These stones, grave, ouch. It turned into a skeleton. I moved it and it turned into a skeleton. Oh, look, I got another book, sweet. There are, oh, and another stone. Sweet, those meteors allow me to pick up. Well, they allow me to, these are not anything. They uh, allow the blacksmith to craft me new items. So wanna keep out, always keep an eye out for those little stones. Ooh, a cave, another book. Sweet, okay, let's go down to the, can I go down to the cave? I would like to go down into that cave. Can I not go down into the cave? I want to go down to the cave. Hmm. Interesting that I can't go down in there. I wonder if there is something I will need. It looks like a, I wonder why that guy's just standing there. Um, I really could not use some help with these guys. Uh, these guys are kind of interesting because they are like um, shielded. If you are an attack, they're... Uh, like their arm that one big claw or their face they don't get hurt so you have to actually attack them from behind to do damage here so what this guy it's creepy jack legitimate cell business owner at your service well i would be if i had the necessary materials bring me a pen and i will kindly and i'll reward you handsomely kid a pen what do i need a pen for oh i'm Let's go down. I think that's probably the kill him. Kill him. He's attacking and he's keeping a good hit. I don't know if he does like a lot of damage to the uh, enemy, but he does seem to be doing good bit. There's meant to be a dungeon around here. I should take a look around. Okay. This looks like a library for the dead. Really? Can I talk to these people? It didn't teach me about this at business skull. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep, I'm the one and only Dr. Bones, kid. It's 10,000 for an autograph, you can't afford it. Well, that's not very nice. Customer service and vault. Okay, what's in here? Investment center. I really don't want either one of those. I have a side job writing financial thrillers. Maybe you've heard of my thrillers, maybe. Maybe you heard of my novel, Back to the Futures, ha huh? Yes, the critics did say it was a bit derivative. <laughs> and math puns. Hey, Lena, have you found my books? I have found some of them. I found quite a few, you're right. Are you planning to visit the library anytime soon? Because ISBN, <laughs> the puns. ISBN is a number assigned to each book to classify it. It looks like your next dungeon is the Cave of Counselor Hush. In the south, click. Okay. Well, that is good to know. Hey, my investment business is in dire straits. I need some property quick or I'll lose everything. If you help me out, I'll let you have this briefcase and all its contents. Okay, well, I can give him... I'm amassing a lot of little quests here. I saw a duck come in for financial advice yesterday. He had a large bill to pay. <laughs> so funny. Please cue this way. Okay, no. Uh, Bruce, oh yeah, let this look some blood. Yep, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. 
Um, okay, so we can go up. I go, okay, let's go up. I didn't really mean to go up. Hello, I see that you're new here. Up here is where investors buy and sell stocks. Anyone can do it. But first, you have to deposit some money into your investor account. My colleague on the left will help you with that. I don't know if I want to invest money. To prevent money laundering, the amount you can withdraw is limited to as most $999. Okay, that's interesting. Headline before trading. It doesn't always help, but in the long run, it does give me a slight edge. Okay, I'm, I'm going to listen to everybody because there's some pretty good puns in here. Most of the time, these uh, machines provide a nice, steady, but low income. They occasionally, then occasionally there are sudden catastrophic fails when everyone panic sells at the same time. I lost almost half of my savings at once last time. Yep, that would be the Great Depression. Prints shoot up if you get three of a kind prices shoot up if you get three of a kind or go up a little bit if you get a coin or two anything else gives a loss okay interesting how do the reels know where to stop what causes the price to jump up and down like they do nothing significant is actually changing in the business we're trading not on the time scale of seconds interesting so can I do anything with these boxes? I would, oh, uh, I don't want to do anything really. I was hoping that I could sneak in behind you to be honest about it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's back downstairs. Oh, I'm back here though. That's gotta be something. Oh, will you stop licking your lips, Bruce? Come on. Oh, I found a library, another library book, sweet. Okay. I wonder what's good about here. It's, 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 despite its appearance, bookcase is empty. That's awesome. Okay. Let's see if there's old fashioned paper ledger here. You're not sure if you understand it fully, but certain numbers appear to come out of nowhere. Interesting. He was monitoring the slot machines upstairs. It's adjusting the payout ratios live to ensure the guild makes profit. Interesting. The coffee is cold. Be this way. Interesting. I don't really want to. Uh... I wish I could edit that or something. Tell it to not do that. I want me to do that. So there's customer support. And with all this inflation, I think I will invest in balloons. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. The puns. Okay, the vault. The best thing about being undead investor is the, all the bone bone uses. Bone uses. I'm not sure I get understand that. There is a key. The chairman ordered me to barricade the vaults. Apparently, there is a vandal on the way here, known for smashing pots and grabbing valuables. <laughs> That's hilarious. Bakers never day, they just lose interest in the living. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. I turned a profit. I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> withdrawal, these are so bad. I had an account with the bank at the North Pole until they froze all my assets. Wow, so many bad puns. Oh, okay, let's see what we can do here. I can push that that way. I can pick that up. Are damaged. Hmm. I'm not sure what that little wiggly thing is up in that room. Is this anything? No, that's probably the vault. I've got to figure out a way in there. Oh, I fell in. Was that lava? I didn't expect that guy to shoot me. Just. Okay, I'm in red. Okay. I just realized that was red liquid and probably not a good place to be. <laughs> oh, shoot. That looks like, like something will fall through there if I stood too long. I don't feel that they he does a lot of damage, but it, it, it definitely helps. 
Chairman's office. Oh, can I get in that? No entry. Can I fall in the hole? I want. I kind of want to fall in the hole. It's a human. They call me the chairman, but I'm also the entire board of directors, the CEO, and the majority shareholder of the bank you're standing in. It's unusual for anyone to make it this far past customer support. Essentially, when you're running a skeleton crew, <laughs> I suppose it's no coincidence that you come today. You are here for the prince, aren't you? Uh oh. Well, I'm in the dungeon. That's, I guess, a good thing. Oh no. Spiders! Why does it always have to be spiders? Hey. Hmm, which way should I go? All the doors are open. Well, I'm not going that way. I guess I'm going down because all the other places are, looks like they're locked. I'm feeling that here really soon we are going to get a um an ability to push heavy things or pick up heavy things go down again always attack the spiders even though they have smileys on their back they're evil spiders yeah oh Ouch, you seem like fire spiders or something. I don't have any, like. They're bombardier spiders, is what they are. Ooh, I got one. Ouch. You're not supposed to actually hurt me. I hope my little guy didn't die, because he's all out of health. Ouch. I can see what this blue potion does if I really get into a dire straits here. Oh, we got two of them. One more. And spiders have a, a problem. Oh, we got, oh, we got bombs. Throwable explosive balls of destruction. So that means that I probably could put that in a button. So I put that in, wait, I did, must have done that wrong. There we go. That's what I want. I got eight bombs. Woo! That means I can destroy things. I can blow up buildings. <laughs> no. But that will allow me to get through, the, like, the, uh... Uh, probably allow me to get through rocks and strong areas and stuff like that. Ooh. Ah! He, he like, charged right at me! He, like, even moved! I do have a nice purple coat that allows me to heal up which is good can i go in there nope ring ring lance i'm scared the chairman has replaced all the palace guards with skeletons in case i don't make it there's something i need to look after file attachment open attachment yes and yes <laughs> that's so awesome oh shoot one of the fabled four powers with this power you discover ways to end conflict without violence the power of compassion you remember the way right the bridge in the east click okay that's interesting okay i still have a lot to explore here um let's go and explore a little bit more since i can get out here um let's go up i guess Like these guys actually like scuttled towards you. I didn't realize. I mean, that's kind of tricky. They'll actually charge directly. I mean, like, they'll, some creatures will charge at you, but these actually will turn and um, turn explicitly towards you after the charge. So, yeah, I like that. See him? You like weaved and bobbed and stuff. And yeah, that's not cool. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Ouch, jerk. If you swing your sword soon enough, you can stop their charge attack though. Okay, another one of those. I think it's like 12 I need on that. 
uh, to get 10 or 12 to get anything new. So uh, we'll, we've got a while still for those. Let's see, there's a blob. I don't think I've been in this room yet. I do like that if I, no, no, this is the, yeah, this is the room I, yeah, I've been in this room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, I'm trying to go in all the rooms, like I said, that I can get to freely. Um, Cause never sometimes, now I'm not sure in every game, but in a lot of games, what will happen is, um, gosh, like, uh, they're charging at me everywhere. Um, they will um, make a way you can blow up. Ah, I waited too long. Then if, um, but if you don't go that way, you can, there's a way that you don't have to blow up. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Kind of seeing if there is a way I can go without um, using that, those bombs. He has definitely helped me out here. That bat is killer also. Ugh! He does can only charge a certain amount, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. There's the map. Sweet. Okay, so where is the... There is a treasure over there, but there was a time that I went in another dungeon and, ah, just like this, I found like a ton of money and a meteor sweet let's see what downstairs is the red tomb of depression that doesn't sound like fun at all <laughs> i wonder how many bombs i can pick up 18 i do like that there's no limit so far that's definitely a good thing or maybe a bad thing i'm going to be using a lot of bombs coming up soon I didn't really mean to fall into another. Is this a completely, yeah, a completely different map? Well, it said generating, so yeah. And this one actually doesn't show at all the area. Now, some of the other ones showed a, yeah, this is not gonna, this is a trap. It's a trap. Maybe not. I feel that it's a trap. I feel that there's something gonna go very badly, very wrong here very soon but maybe not my heart okay i expected a lot more there but hey i got another i got a couple uh meteors out of that which is definitely helpful i mean a crap load of bombs too do you search look around it really helps out i mean you may it may uh the treasure is one thing but there is definitely oh i've got to kill these guys if you keep on them and you get them all like in a corner here and just spam it, they, they not that hard. I think these guys are much easier than the gray ones to spam attack. Oh, I, I need to go over. I just kind of want to get through because I want to get over to that oh i gotta kill all these guys again oh man i probably won't go through and explore every little piece of this dungeon although we won't finish this dungeon in this episode if you would like me to explore this whole little dungeon or just go kill the boss let me know in the description below also in the description let me know what kind of uh um what kind of um adventure games you guys like to play are you uh if you guys if you've played zelda have you played uh a link to the past or um anything like that that would be interesting to know okay put that right there not sure if that was big enough and let's just let my bat take care of it that will work I don't know if the snail slime is poisonous. Yep. Yeah, it's poisonous. So we got to be careful about that. I'm going to end up dying here if I'm not careful. Oh, I'm walking on it. 
and the edge is also seems to be poisonous so it's not only the oh maybe not so just wherever they have been it seems to be poisonous so let's make sure we be very careful out where we walk Come on goober head you can do better than that give me some bombs you take care of that guy i'll come over here and take care of this guy <laughs> so i don't have to walk in all that slime over there they're they look like mollusks which i, I don't know I'm, i think that a snail is a type of mollusk but they're not snails because they just have those little funny feet things do not have a body that comes out Ooh, there's the key awesome that is what i needed to go on i do believe we're going to head up to the castle and leave the boss fight for the next episode i do appreciate everybody hanging out for a little bit and watching this game yeah let me know what kind of uh games what kind of adventure games you uh like to play whether it be you know an rpg or top down or first person or you know what what well let's do it this way let's what zelda games have you played i'm curious let me know in the description or not in the description in the comments below and i will see you all next time thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it bye everybody